Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, well, welcome home. This is my first time on a river cruise. Welcome to Tui Skyler. We are sailing the Danube. So come with me as we do a tour and review of this beautiful boat. The vessel was actually launched in 2010, originally named Tui Sonata, and its original owner was Premicon Flussreisen. The brand as we know it now, Tui River Cruises, was established in 2019. Following an extensive dry dock refit and complete refurbishment, Tui Skyler's inauguration actually took place in August 2021. She is 135 meters in length, 11.4 meters in breadth, and has a capacity of 151 passengers. So without further ado, let's explore all four decks. On deck one, you'll find single and standard cabins, both with porthole views. The portholes themselves are just above water level. The cabins themselves are actually just below. As a result, these cabins are certainly the most affordable on board. This picture is of a standard cabin, deck one, courtesy of Tui. A superior standard cabin on deck one has just that little bit extra space. And also on deck one, a single cabin. Let's head up to deck two, where you'll see a little bit more of what Tui Skyler has to offer. On deck two, you'll find the wellness area, reception, atrium, and a whole range of cabins, including those French balcony cabins, both for single passengers and for couples. Here's a very quick look at our superior French balcony cabin, and you can find this tour and review on my channel. On deck two, you'll also find those French balcony suites with oodles of space and a lot of natural light. On deck two, you'll also find a single French balcony cabin. A walk-in tour of every port you visit is included in your cruise fare. At the time we booked, we also received £100 onboard credit per person to put towards an excursion. You can reserve as many 45 minute slots at the wellness center at reception. The good thing about this is it's included in your river cruise fare. The even better thing is that you get this area to just yourself and that of your travel companion. Whilst you're having a look around, for your information, Tui Skyler has four decks, 77 cabins, two restaurants and two bars. You can purchase any of these items on display from reception. Towards the aft of deck two is the crew area. If you bought the little extras package through TUI, which I described to you in my second vlog, you also get a behind the scenes tour of the crew area. I'm sure they get really annoyed, but it was actually really interesting. Alrighty, let's head up to deck three.
On deck three, you'll find the outdoor terrace, the observatory lounge, a whole range of French balcony cabins, the club lounge, the Drastro restaurant, and the Bistro restaurant. The Fadastro restaurant serves breakfasts, lunch, and dinner. On board Tui Skylar, you'll experience the full board plus package. That means you'll have your three meals a day, including drinks. And that does include all the wine and beer you can stomach whilst you're eating. You can also upgrade to the all-inclusive package. On our cruise, that came to £116 per person for the week. But do check on prices before you sail. The Bistro is Tui Skylar's second and more casual restaurant. Like the Dastro, it is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Its buffet all the way for breakfast and lunch and dinner is a la carte. The menu changes halfway through the sailing as well. Also, this is where you'll get your afternoon tea buffet once per sailing. On our particular cruise, the Bistro restaurant offered speciality Asian dining in the evenings. You did have to reserve a table at reception in advance, but the good thing is that this was included in the price of your river cruise. If you want to discover more about all the meals that we had on board, no problem. Just head for my second vlog in this series on my channel. Club Lounge is a lovely, intimate bar, one of my favourite venues on board actually. This is where you'll find coffee and cocktails by day and by night. The observatory lounge is, I suppose, the equivalent of a ship's crow's nest with panoramic views all around. Don't miss happy hour here, which is every evening between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. I'll see you there. Apart from discounted drinks, you can enjoy complimentary canapes. After dark, the observatory is where you'll head for your nightly entertainment, ranging from musicians, comedians, quizzes, international and local guest acts. At the top of the atrium, you can help yourself to as many coffees, teas, cookies, and there's also water here as you wish. And finally, deck four. Well, of course, this is the upper deck. There may not yet be a herb garden on board, but there are plenty of lounges, tables, chairs for you to sit back and relax. The 
space at the very back of the boat is for the crew and it's the least they deserve. They work so hard. And yes, I know what you're gonna say to me, Jamie, why is it every time you film there's nobody around? I don't know, because I actually wear really good quality aftershaves and a lot of deodorant. On our particular river cruise, there were only just over 100 passengers on board. There is so much space on board for the number of people. So yeah, it's quite a fair. Now this is the glass panel at the top of the atrium, that's where you get all that lovely natural light. Skylar has a maximum speed of 14 miles per hour. Now just look at those views. Literally every time you're cruising down the river, you are surrounded by the best scenery. And sunsets are not just reserved for those cruising the ocean. My second vlog in this series covers a day-by-day -day blow of what it's really like to be river cruising. Make sure you catch it. And don't forget, I also have a full tour and review of our superior French balcony cabin. And there you have my tour of Tui Skyler. So what do you think about this river cruise boat? Drop your comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.